Welcome to the Elevator World Podcast. This is your daily industry news update for February 18th, 2016. In today's news, Orona has acquired a French and a Norwegian company. A new residential tower overlooking New York City would be 79 stories. And a lawmaker in the Cayman Islands is pushing for elevator safety laws. Orona has acquired EST Ascensors France and Heis One Group of Norway. EST has more than 2,000 maintenance contracts and more than 7.8 million US dollars in annual revenue. Heis One Group has been Arona's distributor for 14 years and has locations in six Norwegian cities. Arona's French presence now consists of eight companies generating nearly 100 million US dollars in revenue and employing more than 450 people. Its Norwegian presence now consists of eight companies and a workforce of almost 80. Rona is based in Spain and operates globally. The Real Deal reports developer Chris Jiashu Zhu hopes to break ground in 2017 on the 79-story, 778,000-square-foot Court Square City View Tower at 23-15 44th Drive in Long Island City overlooking New York City. Goldstein Hill and West is the architect of record for the project, which would include nearly 775 apartments and ground-level retail. Renderings show a sleek, glassy square design with a stepped top and a large, multi-level podium. The Cayman Reporter says as high-rise buildings multiply in the Cayman Islands, the need for elevator safety laws is intensifying, according to one lawmaker there. There are currently no laws regarding elevator installation or maintenance in the islands, and this could become a public safety issue, says member of the Legislative Assembly, Ezard Miller, who plans to ask fellow lawmakers to write the legislation. Among buildings going up is the 12-story Kempton Sea Fire Resort, scheduled to open in November. For more industry-related information, visit us at elevatorworld.com, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter at Elevator World.